All right. How long have you been sat there? Why the fuck have you done that? It was an accident they were in the way. Nah, I mean your hair. What? Oh shit, yeah, right. Uh, Rachel was up again last night. I couldn't sleep because she was fucking giggling or something. What the fuck is she giggling at? Anyway, you're stinking by the way. Have you had a shower? Yeah, so you know, I was up and I just thought, fuck it, you know? Need a change. Nah, I mean, why the fuck have you done that? What? Is it your name? What are you on about? Tony, every time you're having a crisis, you change your hair. You saying you don't like it? I'm saying when you were 17, you wore pigtails for a month because Nigel Patterson called you mummy when you lost your virginity. Stop! That makes me sick enough without hearing you say it. Imagine hearing it through the wall. I thought we and Nigel was having an asthma attack. You are absolutely vile. I'm just being honest. You, being honest. You used to tell people that you fucked Lewis McCormick's mum at 17. <laughs> uh, nah, I didn't. Yeah, I know you didn't. You used to go red any time Davy's daughter was serving at the corner shop. She was intimidating, you know, she wore feelers, she had a nose piercing. Anyway, it was his aunt. <laughs> <laughs> You're so full of shit. Lewis's mom didn't know what she was missing. What? few moments of fumbling about, a couple of misplaced fingers and that downcast reassurance of that's never happened before. And somehow I don't think Lucy's mum's losing any sleep. I have always been given, considerate and never lazy, so therefore whenever No no no, that's enough. Regret that. <laughs> never lazy. That's right. Can I tell me how I can be more active and less lazy like you? Can't be bothered. <laughs> Such a prick. <laughs> You're overreacting. One day I'll get you to tell the truth. You know, you still haven't told me. Mm, what's that? What's happened? This, again. I just thought it would be nice, okay? I'm bored. Tony. No, you don't have to like it, but can I not just change my hair? Is it uni? Oh my God, I can ask what's going on with you. You're the one that's pissed all the time. Nice. Sorry. <laughs> hey Rachel. I'm Robert. Hi. Oh, Tony! I love your hair. It really suits you. Oh, 
Yeah, thanks. I mean, I was up and I just thought, fuck it, you know? Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> Would anyone like some tea? No, no, you're alright, thanks. Well, I'll be in my room then. Bye. Yes? Did you shag Rachel? That depends. Depends on what? How truthful you want me to be? Oh my god, for fuck's sake, Robert! Oh, so now you believe me? Do you think about anything that you do before you do it? It's not a big deal, mate. She's my fucking roommate. I have to spend every day with her. I. I can't even leave the flat! Oh, that's not my fault. And you can go for a walk. <laughs> this is so you. You know that? Always up for a laugh. <laughs> and always finding ways to be a selfish bastard. <sighs> Where is this coming from? I'm letting you live here! I didn't need to! But after. And then this whole thing, and now I have to be here with the two of you in this mess. Okay, stop making this a bigger deal than it actually is. She can make her own decisions. What is wrong with you? Tony, can you stop pretending that this is what's actually bothering you and tell me what is going on? Did you not consider how this might affect me? Do you know what? I did, actually. Considering that this is your last year and considering that you'll be moving out next month, you know, I considered that Rachel would probably be up for it. Well, I'm not, actually. And you might have known that if you'd fucking come to me and divulge your plans to get into my flatmate's fucking bag. Wait, you're not moving out? <sighs> no. I'm repeating fourth year. Probably for the best, you know? If it's not going well, then you're best redoing it or just dropping out altogether. Yeah. How's work? Wonderful, yeah. Still serving lovely middle class pillars of society for what I'm told is quite decent money. Still, at least you get to leave the flat. You can leave the flat. You know what I mean. What do you mean? Like, you're actually getting to leave the flat. Like, able to do things, keep busy, work. You can do that. What? Well, you're doing that, you're still doing uni. Yeah, online. It's not the same thing. Yeah, you're right. You're doing something you actually enjoy. So you're saying it's easy for me to do all my classes online? Well, at least you're doing something you enjoy. Yeah, doing it online is shit, but at least you're not doing mind-numbing shit day in, day out. Well, at least you've got a job where you can earn money. I don't even know if I'm going to have a job when I graduate. That is not my fault. God, I know it's not your fault, but don't keep throwing my fucking degree at me like I should just be thankful for it without questioning the way in which I get it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Look, you chose to do your degree, Tony. It's not my fault. It's not worked out the way you wanted it to. 
Is uh, this still about the Rachel thing? You condescending cunt. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry that I decided to do something with myself, to actively work towards something. Don't be angry at me because you decided to work and it's actually hard. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm lazy. Yeah, is that it? I'm ungrateful. I'm ungrateful. And what should I be grateful for, Tony? That I have a job at all during the pandemic? Just be grateful you're still working. Oh yeah, wonderful. Fulfilling my dreams here. Waking up every day and going to a job with a highlight is guessing what'll break first. The silence before someone has to complain about wearing a mask. Or some middle class wankers will to live when they find out we don't pack their bags for them at the till. That's it. Just be grateful that you get to go to a job where people look down on you and that you get to go home, sleep, get up and do it all over again. I get that from work. Tony, I don't need that from you. You think I'll let down on you? <laughs> oh my god, this again. I'll leave it, no, Tony. See, I thought we were past this. <laughs> like, you actually hate me because I went to uni? What? Because you didn't do anything? <laughs> Tony, I know this might be hard for you, but someone doesn't have to go to uni to do something worthwhile with their life. Do you know that? Oh my god, of course they, of course they don't! But I don't want that. I, just, I, I want something more than see, that. See, there it is. Something more as if somehow what you're doing is better. Just fucking leave it, Robert. Just because I left that house, it doesn't mean that I'm a bad person. You know, of course it doesn't, but you left me there. That was a stupid thing to say. No, it's fine. I understand now. <laughs> Fuck off, Tony. I'm just drunk. No, I understand, Robert. You don't hate me because I was trying to make a career for myself and you didn't. You don't hate me because you decided to do nothing with your life except work in a shop and get pissed with your mates. You don't hate me because I'm going to be some boring, middle-class teacher with a nice little home where I can raise some bright little kids, right? You don't even hate me because I left you to look after mum in that house by yourself. You hate me because I wasn't there when she died, right? No, sorry. Then what the fuck is it, Robert? Because I can't keep doing this. Stuck in this house. It doesn't even feel like my life's falling apart. It feels like it's moved on without me and I'm stuck in the same place. You know, it's funny. I see the irony now and it's funny. <laughs> I didn't want... I, I couldn't, I... Just be some depressing piece of furniture like Mum. I couldn't stand watching you lie to yourself every day and not realise it till you were 30 because you still had the same fucking job and the same friends since you were 18. So I left. And I studied my arse off, and I mean, I really studied because I'm not that smart. Not like you. And I got into a good uni. Not great, but it was good enough, and I, I actually found something that I wanted to do. And the irony is... The world hit the fucking reset button and I'm stuck in this fucking house with you! My default... 
now, every day, when I'm waking up, but I'm not quite asleep. I just picture the sky. I just lie there and I picture the sky. And then I open my eyes and I'm still in that same fucking room and I have to face the fact that I left you and mum in that house. I came here to try and build a future for myself. And instead I fast tracked everything that I never wanted. I said now mum's gone and you hate me and I don't know why. Wow, Tony, fuck. <laughs> I was working at the start. Since the start, you know. You know. You know, it was actually alright at the start. People would say thank you. <laughs> they clapped. I felt like I was doing something important, which was quite weird. Didn't last long. No. As soon as the shelves started to get shallow, people were at us like we were eating their food ourselves. The second that queue got too long or it was too busy, people were at you. I saw a guy once try and grab my boss by the collar to tell him that it was too busy, that there were too many people inside. <laughs> what the fuck was he supposed to do? Tell me. He was doing everything that he could. Then, everyone decided that they had enough. They wanted it to be over. They were bored. Stopped social distancing, started taking their masks down, they wanted to speak to you, tap you in the shoulder to get your attention. <laughs> You know, as soon as they felt that we had been rewarded enough, received their pleases and thank yous and well dones, it was straight back to complaining about the lack of fucking self-raising flour. It's all right to be in a shop for, with those fucking people. It's all right to be in a shop with those people that can't wear a mask for 20 minutes without collapsing from a heat stroke, but I can't go and get pissed for one Saturday with my mates without it being a national fucking scandal. So fuck them, right? All those middle class Tories and their privileged kids whose idea of struggling is not going to lift the school. So I went and get pissed my mates. Because fuck them, right? Except they're not the ones that suffer. They're all fine in their West End flats. It's mum. It's people at heart. And people at me that fucking did it to her.
No, no, it's, it's all right. It's not your fault, Robert. Well, yeah, I know that, you give me a fright. No, no, I mean, it's not your fault. Oh, right, <laughs> yeah. Wow, that makes a first end, doesn't it? It's not. I wasn't even there. Can you imagine that? She was on her own with some nuts. Someone she didn't know. She was on her own and I had to go to work and listen to some guy complaining about the pubs being closed. It's not your fault, Robert. I'm sorry. I know you are. I'm sorry. I don't hate you at all. But I know you haven't had it easy. I'm sorry if I've dragged you. Please don't do it again. I wouldn't. You should stop giggling. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, I like your hair, by the way. It suits your face well. Thanks. I was having a crisis. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to clean that up? Or? Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs>